In this video, we're going to learn how to tell the sex of an individual based on their pelvic anatomy. So we can see that I have two pelvises here. This pelvis is a female pelvis, and this pelvis is a male pelvis. Let's look at the male pelvis first. When we look at the male pelvis, we notice that the hip bones, or the os coxa, are more straight up and down. We can also see that where the pubic regions are, so here and here, they form this subpubic angle. Notice how sharp this angle is. It's way less than 90 degrees. Also, as we tilt the pelvis in this direction and we look down into it, notice how the pelvis takes on a somewhat heart shape. If you think about where a guy's heart really is, that'll help you identify the pelvis. Now, let's compare this to our female pelvis. So here's our female pelvis. Notice how our hip bones, or the os coxa, flare out up at the top, more at the sides. That's what gives women wider hips. If we look at the pubic regions here and here, we notice they form a subpubic angle that is much wider. Look how wide it is. It's bigger than 90 degrees. Last but not least, if we tilt the pelvis up and we look in, notice how the pelvis is more rounded or oval shaped compared to the male. So in females, the pelvic anatomy has been adapted for childbirth. In males, since males don't give birth, their pelvic anatomy is more structured for larger musculature. Now, keep in mind that these are just generalities. Obviously, you can experience differences between both sexes, but knowing these key features will help you tell male from female apart.